Bro, I dare you to eat this. <laughs> Whoa! You stepped in a hole! <laughs> I got on my face. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe, and this is Okeechobee Noodling. I've got my foot in a hole, and I just saw a crazy fish <laughs> swim down in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Do you wish you had gloves? I don't like wearing gloves. Oh, he's in there. Ow, ow. <laughs> They're pretty ow. spooky. <laughs> but pull him out. Oh, I just cracked his whole spine. He just went to the chiropractor. <laughs> he's probably using his fins. <laughs> he's using his fins to stay in there. I pulled two hands and I was like, Phew. Jeez. <laughs> You got him? <laughs> Holy moly. Look at that prehistoric looking creature, but I'm interested to see if there's eggs in here. Hold your breath and go under. I don't want to get in my ears. The only thing. Oh. As you pull out a baby gator. <laughs> There are a lot of alligators in here too. It's Lake Okeechobee. Brad, how many big gators have we killed here? Uh, several hundred. Hundred. In case y'all don't know, that's Brad with G3 Outfitters. He's been in a bunch of my video videos here in Okeechobee area. How deep's the hole? I, I'm gonna try to stick my foot in there. Think you're gonna I can't fit. even. I don't think there's any eggs in there. But there was another one right over here. Let's go look at Explain why he was so hard to get out of the hole. Look at his spines. Just like any fish that lives in a hole, they lock those spines in and you can't get them out. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh. You going under? The hat and all. Hat Does he have glasses on too? Yep. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Ooh. You can dive 60 feet, but you can't hold your breath in four foot of water? Not even. Two and a half? <laughs> Brad, you're gonna start running charters, noodle, and placos? Absolutely. He's trying to kick using momentum to get the fish out. Ooh, that's a big one. <laughs> I wanna see if there's eggs in here now. He's very, um, you're very, what's the word? Oh, look at all that. Look at that. Thousands of destructive little baby eggs. Dang. My arm looks like I've been digging a red grouper out of the hole. Look at that. In case you guys were wondering, that was no show. I broke its fin pulling him out. Look at the eggs. They're crazy strong too. I brought a piece of Tupperware just to bring them home and we're going to cook them. Wait, I'm going to pop it. Ew! It got on my face. <laughs> Brad, your turn. Oh. scrambled eggs. I mean, people pay big money for caviar. Yeah, seriously. Brad said that they they collect them and sell them for a lot of money. You might be a redneck if you go to Lake Okeechobee and go noodle and plecos. Wow, that's insane. Hold on, I'm gonna look. Oh, you can you can, can kind of see them. Yeah, you can see the little baby pleco inside. It's, it's red. A red heartbeat in there. The little red. Babe, you don't mind if I use our kitchen Tupperware, do you? You've already used about every one I bought. <laughs> So we're gonna put these eggs on ice and we're gonna go find another one. Did you sign up for this? No, <laughs> I had no idea we were doing this when so I met you this morning. If y'all have been following me for a while, you saw last year we did a noodling video. Brad's the one that convinced me to stick my hand in there and get destroyed by 50 pound catfish, so. 
I'll show him a clip real quick of noodling. This is our first trip, or no, he had went the year before. It was my first trip ever noodling. Y'all watch this big catfish. There's a blue in there. Oh yeah! Did that suck my shoe off? <laughs> Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Hard bottom. Yeah. You pull him out of the mouth hole and grab him the other hand. Watch an explosion of air. He may have just got hit. Oh yeah, he's getting hit now. He's thumping him, buddy. He's coming out with him. Come on. He's got him. He's got him. Hold on. Hold on. Got him. His butt's grass. You got him? <laughs> just hold on tight, just like you got him. You got him. Here, let him come up with him out of He's got a lizard lock on him. Oh, do you? Go to the boat. Go to the boat. Oh, oh Lord. Good night. <laughs> Hey, they know. told me, now listen, I grew up sticking my hands in the holes. They're like, it's going to bite you. When that hand went in there, he goes, Whoa! I said, he That's got me. One. Look at the size of that. That's a good blur. Hey, Mr. Richard said, I ain't coming out. <laughs> he come out, but I came out with a cost. Oh. Hey. That's it, bro. Leaving the shirt on? Leaving the hat and glasses off? Yep. It's so cold. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> he jumped. It jumped in there. It jumped in there. Oh my gosh, it went so far in there. <laughs> you gotta go <clears> under. <throat> Hopefully he's not in your pockets. Oh, how far are they going in there, Gabe? A long way. I gotta go down. <laughs> this is what happens when you hang out with Blue Gabe. Said you ain't much better. This is true, wherever you are. Hey, Kev. Yeah. You've seen it go in that hole, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's in there. No, I went to the back of the hole. Huh? Stick your arm in this hole. Where's it at? Right here. Apparently, it's in there. Well, that's what I thought. I mean, I didn't honestly see it swim in the hole. Oh, I thought I already felt it. Maybe there was like a. I have it's not doing it to launch. I found a side hole. Yeah, There's only one little side hole. Where did he go? It bottoms out. He just Houdini'd you. Yeah, but there's no eggs in that one. No, let's go find another one. Oh my goodness, it's right there. I may not have to go in this one. <laughs> this is the funniest thing ever. Oh. <laughs> He's got his toenail. <laughs> You're gonna have to go in there by its head and pull that one fin or break uh -uh. it. I got it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me see if there's eggs in there. Woo! There's gotta be eggs. That thing must find me. Oh, I'm gonna get such an ear infection. <laughs> How's that feeling about it? Ow! Back scratch. <laughs> Good little mouth. They're so cool. That hole's deep and there's no eggs. Huh? Ah. Get the hide off my hand. Oh, look at you. You got battle wounds. Yeah. Brad, you know how we always call each other out? Uh huh. Hello. I think Kelly Young brought a bathing suit. No, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Hello. We got to find some eggs. We do. You don't have to find any more eggs. Like, I'll let you guys split those eggs and I'll just let you have my share. I don't need to eat any. He's going down again. Those holes are as deep as my arm. And that's why they cause so much destruction. They find our levees and our dike systems, which protects from flooding. And they dig these huge holes, which will allow the water to seep through and eventually just bust the whole levee. Busting levees. So we just found another one. We're gonna try to show you what he looks like before he goes in the hole. All right, get him, Brad. Catch him before he goes. Oh, he went in. <laughs> no, wait, no, no, he's right there. <gasps> no, he's, oh, he's right here. Where? He's, he's huge. Oh, oh, he went back in there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's so fast. That was a big one.
Ay, 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 ay. The most <laughs> yes! Look at that! That's a nice batch you got there. Uh -huh. Twelve dollar. That was a little bit of uh, bacon. You know what, babe? Hmm. I'm going to Benel tomorrow. For those of y'all again who've been following me, we're going to Benel, Florida, to meet Dalton, who Kelly's done hog videos with. I've done hog videos. I heard he really loves these eggs, so I'm gonna cook some up for him tonight. That's a good idea. Look how pretty that your sack's prettier than mine. Well, I think it, and I'm talking about that right? sack. <laughs> <laughs> I know he probably Brad probably gently scooped them. I did. Games I like, scoop <sighs> easy. How they feel so interesting. Look how clean. I wonder if these are fertilized or not, or if they just lay eggs. Because these ones don't have the little yeah, red yeah, thing. Yeah, they do. It's barely real faint red. Some of them. Hmm. Brad, I dare you to eat this. How much? Two dollars. So My glasses are fogged up. Oh! oh <laughs> 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 Super sensitive, like stomach. Oh my goodness, I'll never do that again. If you start gagging in front of Brad, he'll just keep gagging. Oh. Never again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Gabe, another big one right here in this hole. Come here. Oh, nice. Gabe got one there. There's another big one over here. I think there's eggs in this one. Kelly, come around behind me this way. Oh man, hold up. You want me to hold the eggs? <laughs> I just stepped in a hole. Gabe's back there diving. He has the underwater camera right now. You see his leg? This one didn't have any eggs. This one's gonna have eggs right here. There's two of them. This one, Gabe. Male and female. Oh, 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 <laughs> I think that one just went over the hole. Did he go in it? It's hard. There's. <laughs> oh yeah, we just hit pay dirt. Whoa! Oh, right at the mouth. There's three holes here though. Oh. Dang. I like the leg. That was the only, the only one that had eggs. Oh, this is pretty neat. Mm -hmm. mine's, still, how... mine's still prettier. It is, for real. <laughs> huh. I can't believe Kelly's getting out of it. Mm. All right, folks at home, leave a comment below and tell Kelly she should be doing it. Ah. <sighs> I'm just feeling lazy today. Oh man. Let's get a close up. <laughs> no. <that. laughs> all right, so we're not keeping all the plecos because we're going to come back and kill a bunch with the fish gig. Right now, we're after the eggs. <clears throat> I am putting them. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Smell it one time. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Brad. Ooh. He put two eggs on his tongue. Mm. Did he swallow? Oh, yeah. He Can you taste it in the back of your tongue? <laughs> I think they're hung up halfway down. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. While we're moving real quick, I'm going to show you a time lapse of just how many beds there are in this little, like, football field size area. Oh, hold us, cave down where my other hand is. Nice. Ooh. You go in easy for the kill. He got her out, so now he's trying to get eggs. It's all murked up. Yeah, there's eggs here. Oh. They're right up front. They hold us collapsed over them. Brad's got eggs. They're going to be dirty, though. All right. There we go. Wow, it's a lot of eggs. Those are a little bit more mature. I, can, I think I see little babies starting in these. Let me see. Oh yeah, see you little can black spots in there. Totally see the little babies. These are a little more mature. Oh, sorry. 
<laughs> yeah. This is one of these videos that we should invite a fan over. They're always wanting to come over for dinner. This would be the ultimate Blue Gabe excursion. Lake O on the airboat in Lake Okeechobee. Hands on activity, sticking your hands in holes. I'm coming. Jeez. Woo! Set in a hole. Look at his mouth though. Move your thumb. No, your thumb, so I can see the eggs. What, Brad? I noticed something. The real darker eggs are more mature. Them, them light ones are, are very fresh. Yeah. Well, taste the difference between the two of them. <laughs> These eggs remind me of like some kid toy, like you buy slime or something. I'm sure all you people up north are thinking, these boys here, they got issues, but this is fun to me. <laughs> you know, I was sent a meme the other day, and it said, there was a person at the doctor, and they said, do you guys have any, like, illnesses or diseases? And he said, I got an uncle from Florida. <laughs> this is how you don't get COVID right here. Here, hold these. You just play in Lake Okeechobee. They're kind of pretty. Mm. so bad. Oh, there's one right here! Right here! His tail's sticking out. Oh! Oh! So these plecos start out their nest inside of these tilapia beds. These aren't pleco beds. They're tilapia beds. <laughs> Look at that. Let me see if there's eggs in there. Dude, you know who would love doing this? Hmm. You think Luke and Jake would do it? We need to bring them back. I don't know if they could pull it out of the hole. No, no, definitely not. Look at that spine, though. Yeah. I mean, these right here, I wish y'all could feel how, how, how strong they are. Their, their skin is like ah. the just rankest sandpaper you could ever feel. Rub your finger on there, babe. Yeah, you can you can rub it this way, but if you go this way, it's like little barbs. They're like kickstands. Like once they put their fins out like that, they're like locked in, kind of like a trigger fish. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good uh, analogy. A trigger fish. If you did this, this one would go down. This one's not going down at all. But try to move it the other way so you can't pull them out. Yep. All right, you guys. We're having way too much fun. This is us just living life. We're not doing this just for YouTube. Brad and I grew up doing things like this. Like this is what we would do when we were kids. Kelly's new to it. There's a reason she's not getting in the water right now. She will the next time, I promise. But for right now, we will see you guys in Benel, Florida, where we're going hog hunting tomorrow and the next day with my buddy Brennan and Dalton, and where we're going to cook these eggs. So. We're not eating a pleco. If you want to see a pleco catch, clean, and cook, I already have two. If you want to see us eat these eggs, stay tuned. So we made it up here to Benel, Florida, to the Double C Ranch. My buddy Dalton runs the place, and this outfit is amazing. If you like hog hunting, you need to check out Double C Ranch. The link will be in the description below. Trust me, I've got two videos coming from here, and they're both awesome. Check this out, though. Ooh. Yep, they're done. But here's what y'all all been waiting for. Yep. That's all the eggs. They're in there, they're on ice, and they're chilled because I told you Dalton loved to eat these eggs and he's inside thinking he's getting ready to eat a steak dinner and some mashed potatoes that I made that are gonna be amazing. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about that because they're not your just typical mashed potatoes. And I got some awesome green beans. I keep looking over my shoulder though because that's the most amazing view ever. <laughs> Check that out. All the clumps of eggs broke up and now it's just like, I don't even know, tapioca pudding. So everybody's at the table sitting down, I'm walking in here. Dalton! What up? 
I brought you a gift. What's that? What Your you favorite thing ever. Oh, good grief. I don't know about that. <laughs> Plinko <laughs> eggs. Plinko eggs? Plinko eggs. Oh, you're going to put them on the steaks. <laughs> yeah, you sprinkle yeah. them. It's like seasoning. That's a delicacy in some countries. Oh, my goodness. All right, you guys, if you've been watching to this point, I really appreciate it. If you subscribe to my channel, I appreciate that even more. But at this moment, we got to be honest with you. We ain't eating those eggs until one of you guys or gals comment and tell us how to prepare those eggs. Now, we did our job. We got them out of Lake Okeechobee because they are a nasty, nasty, invasive fish. But we don't know how to cook them. Look at this right here. I mean, I'm sure there's some way to do it. Are fogged up. Oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you stepped in a hole. <laughs> you sure you don't want to try a big old scoop? Mm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I bet if we put them in put a, a butter and a, butter and skillet, and let's let's see what happens. I bet if we Take filled a, a pantyhose with full of them, like? they're probably swimming. The crawfish would love them. Bad. They smell if, fishy? If they, if they taste like Planko taste from what I hear. Planko? Planko, you want nothing to do with this. Yeah. How was Planko? So-so. <laughs> so don't eat the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> but for keeping you here this long, I'm going to tell you how to make the best mashed potatoes ever. So you boil your potatoes, then you take some mushrooms and some bacon, saute them down together. Once your mashed potatoes are done, add a stick of butter, a cup of milk, Start mashing them up. Strain your mushrooms and the bacon. Add that bacon and the mushrooms into the pot. Stir it up. And you've got the best mashed potatoes you'll ever eat. You can, though, try your mashed potatoes for me. Just, yeah, just try them. Try, let's hear, guys. That's unbelievable. That's five star right that's, there. That's made by God. We got our garlic bread. Make sure, though, that you check out the Double C Ranch, Dalton. If you live anywhere in the southeast, you can come here. Benel's two hours from Miami, two hours from Georgia, 30 minutes from Orlando. Y'all check it out. But right now, this video is ending. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.